Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I'm going to try out one of the heroes who received skill adjustments on the latest patch, and this one's Lapu Lapu. In this update, the developers wanted to give him more mobility, so they gave him this small patch. By the way, it's also stated here that the slow from his skill 1 wasn't enough to improve his mobility, so they removed it instead. Now I wonder why did they have to remove it? Anyway, going on to his passive. It can no longer be triggered with his skill 1, which means only his basic attacks can now grant him shield. Last is his ultimate. He now generates more bravery blessing, or energy, with his enhanced skills. And that's it. That's basically all of his skill adjustments in the latest update. Now, you might be wondering why the devs even bothered giving him this small patch. Well, that's because this is already his fourth skill adjustment this year. And yep, he had three more buffs from the previous ones. The buffs are mostly about improving his mobility, defense, and overall damage with his ultimate. So yeah, Lapu Lapu received 4 consecutive buffs, and not to mention, with no nerfs. That's why in this video, I plan to test if Lapu Lapu is finally great now with all of his updates. Did the developers achieve their plans for him, or does he need more buff? And that's what we're going to find out. Anyway, I'm currently playing solo round here on official server and they will be our team's fighter. This is the build that I've used in this game, while this is my emblem. Now, before we move on, let me see if I can help with the current team fight. I think I can target their mage first. They're chasing Kaja. Let's see if I can aid him. I died in the process and Kaja still didn't manage to survive. I can see that their Cho is trying to push my tower. And Franco seems to be on his way. Let's see if we can kill him. Well played, Franco. So moving on, since Lapu Lapu received quite a number of buffs this year, I can't help but wonder how much he is used now. As we can see in the rankings, he's not a popular pick when it comes to all ranks. And it seems that he's also an uncommon pick for the legends and above. I guess that's quite sad to hear. On the other hand though, he's received quite a recognition for the M2s and above. Heck, his popularity is near Badang's, and he's even a hotter pick than Dira. So I guess he's doing good so far. What the hell was Cho doing? Was he lagging? Anyway, the only explanation for why I think he's unpopular in the lower ranks is because he's quite hard to get used to. You'll need a certain number of games until you learn how to use him properly. Now, there probably will be a team fight for the second turtle. Dang, that Barretts was hard. Nice. 
Oh, shit. And that's my second death now. I think I should stop this risky place of mine. One thing I like about Lapu Lapu is his destructive damage during early to mid game. Even without multiple offensive items, he can burst down the squishy enemies. And I don't know if you've noticed, but they tend to target their backliners instead of their front. Killing their damage dealers first will be a good advantage for our team. And as you can see here, I'll be the one to initiate the team fight. Well, that was a long team fight. Glad it's over. Anyhow, though Lapu Lapu deals heavy damage at early, we can't ignore the fact that his damage falls off at late game. Once the enemies manage to build at least one or two items, his effectiveness just gradually disappears. Now time for the last turtle. Oh look, another team fight. I guess we won that one. We won the team fight here in mid, but their Cho is getting way over his head for split pushing our bottom lane. My teammates won't stand idly for that. Now, another thing I like about Lapu Lapu is his ability to sustain. We all know that his passive gives him shield, right? That's already one of his ways to sustain. But let me put that on hold. Moving on, the other one is his enhanced second skill. In case you don't know yet, Lapu Lapu gains 15% damage reduction for each enemy hero hit with this skill. So it means it can go up to 75% if you hit all the enemies. That damage reduction can last up to 4 seconds. But that's not all, the skill's cooldown is actually 4 seconds. And it can still go down with enough CD reduction items. So it's like you can maintain the damage reduction if you keep hitting the enemies. We may have wiped them out, but they got the Lord. I guess we won't be able to end it just yet. But going on, I think Lapu Lapu's skill sets are somewhat perfectly balanced. I mean, he has poke, mobility, initiating ability, heavy damage, stun, and sustain. Like them, he's a full package hero. I guess you can't hate this guy. But anyway, another team fight, huh? I 
I guess we got too hung up on team fights that we forgot to defend. Our teammates' response took longer than expected. I think Leslie was slugging during our team fight. Now let me share with you guys this crazy idea for Lapu Lapu's ultimate. Would it be good if it had an extra button where you could immediately revert to your normal skills? I'm thinking like it should work in a similar way where Edit can go back to Phylax anytime she wants to. It can be useful for example when you're in a pinch and your ultimate is active. Instead of waiting for it to revert, you can just simply click that button to revert your skills, then immediately use your mobility to escape. Will these changes be good or will it be too game breaking to do so? What do you guys think? Anyway, I guess here's another team fight. Nice, we got the Lord and we managed to kill 4 of them. So I guess this is it. So what can you say about Lapu Lapu's buff? Does he need more? Is he balanced or is it too much? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching. Victory!